Hello everyone, my name is Aya Barakat. I'm PharmD candidate class of 2021. Today, I'll review drug information about Valsartan, brand name Diovan. First, I'll be going over some key counseling points about this medication. Take this drug by mouth as directed by your physician. Try to take it same time every day. Never stop taking this medication unless your doctor tells you to stop. You can take this drug with or without food. If you happen to miss a dose, you should take the missed dose as soon as you can, unless it is almost time for your next dose. Skip the missed dose and take the scheduled dose as usual. Never take extra doses. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist if taking any over-the-counter herbs or supplements, as they might change the way the drug works in your body. Don't treat yourself with cold or cough medicine. Some ingredients in these products may raise your blood pressure. You may get drowsy or dizzy. Do not drive, use machinery, or do anything that needs mental alertness until you know how this drug affects you. Do not stand or sit up too quickly, especially if you're an older patient. Keep your medicine at room temperature away from light and moisture. Alcohol can make you more dizzy. Avoid alcoholic drinks. While Sartan belongs to a family of medicine known as angiotensin receptor blockers, or ARBs for short, similar to ACE inhibitors, they also interfere with renin angiotensin aldosterone system. More specifically, they block type 1 angiotensin to receptor on heart, blood vessels, and other tissues. While Sartan helps to lower blood pressure and the amount of work that heart has to do. It is used to treat high blood pressure, heart failure, and it is the only ARP that is FDA approved for reduction of mortality after a heart attack episode. ARPs have a relatively low incidence of side effects and are well tolerated. Some common side effects that you might experience with this drug include cough, backward joint pain, headache, diarrhea, stomach pain, or nausea. More serious side effects that you should report to a doctor immediately include confusion or fainting spells, decreased amount of urination, difficulty breathing or swallowing, palpitations or chest pain, as well as swellings of face, tongue, hands or feet. Here are more details about how this drug works. ARPs have the following actions. They dilate arteries and veins and thereby reduce arterial pressure, preload and afterload. ARP downregulates sympathetic adrenergic activity by blocking the effects of angiotensin II on sympathetic nerve release and reuptake of norepinephrine. They promote renal excretion of sodium and salt by blocking the effects of angiotensin II in the kidneys, as well as blocking angiotensin II stimulation of aldosterone secretion. They also inhibit cardiac and vascular remodeling associated with chronic hypertension, heart failure, and myocardial infarction. Recommended dosing schedules are listed in the following table. For heart failure, the recommended dose is 20 to 40 milligram twice daily. Increase dose typically by doubling every one to two weeks based on response and tolerability to a target dose of 160 milligram twice daily. To treat hypertension, the starting dose is 80 to 160 milligram once daily. According to the individual's response, the dose can be increased every four to six weeks up to a maximum dose of 320 milligram daily. Post-myocardial infarction dose is 20 mg twice daily and can be increased as tolerated up to 160 mg twice daily under close monitoring to avoid hypotension. For individuals with proteinuria, the recommended dose is 40 to 80 mg twice daily depending on blood pressure and can be titrated to 160 mg twice daily. As a drug class, ARPs have a relatively low incidence of side effects and are well tolerated. Because they do not increase their decaying levels like ACE inhibitors do, dry cough and angioedema that are associated with ACE inhibitors are usually not a problem. However, ARBs are contraindicated in individuals with known hypersensitivity to this class of medication and have a black box warning for pregnancy. Here are some major warnings and precautions while taking Valsartan. Look for signs and symptoms of hypotension upon initiation, especially in patients who are salt or volume depleted, for example, those treated with high dose diuretics. Patients with bilateral renal artery stenosis may experience renal failure, severe hepatic disease, or those with high potassium levels. Less antihypertensive effects have been seen in African American population. They are usually combined with another class of antihypertension medications, such as diuretics. Due to lack of sufficient data, breastfeeding is not recommended during treatment with Valsartan. Use of Valsartan is not recommended in neonates, infants, or children younger than six years of age. While Sartan should be used with caution prior to surgery. Here are the resources I use for this drug information presentation. Thank you and hope you find this information useful.